A leaked image of the Sony A1 Mark II has surfaced online, hinting at an imminent official announcement. This exciting news raises the question, is Sony finished with 2024 releases, or could there be more surprises in store? Alongside the Sony A1 Mark II, there are several highly anticipated models. Notably, the Sony Alpha A2 is confirmed for a November 19th announcement. But will it offer enough upgrades to convince you to part with your beloved A1? The Sony A1 has already made a significant impact on the market with its impressive 50.1 megapixel sensor, lightning-fast 30 frames per second burst mode, and exceptional video capabilities. However, the A1 Mark II is anticipated to elevate the standard even further. One of the most noteworthy upgrades could be an increase in shooting speed. Rumors suggest that the A1 Mark II might reach an astounding 60 frames per second, effectively doubling the speed of the original A1. This enhancement would make it an even more attractive option for high-speed photography, catering to professionals who capture wildlife, sports, or other fast-moving action. Such a feature could substantially improve performance and outcomes for photographers in these demanding situations. In terms of sensor capabilities, the A1 Mark II is expected to retain the same 50.1 megapixel resolution, but is likely to come with improved processing power. The introduction of a newer, faster image processor could facilitate a more seamless shooting experience, particularly when handling large, detailed files. One of the most exciting prospects is the potential inclusion of a global shutter, which debuted in the A9 series. While the A1 balanced speed and resolution, the A1 Mark II might emphasize the technology behind the A9's global shutter, allowing for quicker and more accurate captures without distortion. Sony has established itself as a leader in video technology, and the A1 Mark II is rumored to continue this trend. Like its predecessor, the A1 Mark II is expected to offer 8K video at 30fps, but there are whispers of it providing 8K at 60fps as well. This enhancement would turn the A1 Mark II into a powerhouse for cinematographers seeking ultra-high-definition footage. While the A1 already delivers excellent 4K and 8K capabilities, the potential for improved frame rates in the A1 Mark II could attract creators who require high-speed performance or need additional flexibility during post-production. Furthermore, the A1 Mark II is expected to maintain the A1's ability to shoot 4K video at 120 frames per second. However, with new AI-based autofocus and possible in-body noise reduction features, the A1 Mark II may deliver smoother, crisper footage across a broader range of lighting conditions. This enhancement could significantly benefit videographers looking to capture high-quality footage in challenging environments. While the Sony A1 is well known for its robust design, users have expressed a desire for improved ergonomics, and it seems that Sony has taken this feedback into account. The A1 Mark II is rumored to feature a more refined grip and an enhanced body design, making it more comfortable for long shooting sessions. Even minor adjustments like these can greatly affect usability, particularly for professionals who are often on the go and require a camera that feels good in hand during extended periods. If you're currently using the original Sony A1, the decision to upgrade will largely depend on your specific needs. It appears that the A1 Mark II will build upon the foundation laid by the A1, offering faster shooting speeds, improved autofocus capabilities, and potentially better ergonomics. However, if your photography style doesn't involve fast-paced environments or extensive use of 8K video, the original A1 remains one of the most capable cameras on the market. For those seeking the latest technology or working professionally in demanding conditions, the A1 Mark II might be a worthwhile investment, with a projected price tag of around $7,000. Considering its rumored upgrades, the A1 Mark II could become the next dominant force in both photography and videography. Ultimately, whether it's essential to replace your current gear will depend on how critical these new features are to your workflow and creative needs. In conclusion, while the Sony A1 remains a top-tier camera, the upcoming A1 Mark II is poised to deliver significant advancements. As the photography and videography landscape continues to evolve, the A1 Mark II may be just what some professionals are looking for to enhance their craft.
Recent rumors have sparked excitement among videographers and tech enthusiasts alike, suggesting that the upcoming Sony FX32 could be the next big thing in the world of video-centric cameras. One of the most talked about features is the potential inclusion of a global shutter, which could significantly elevate the camera's capabilities. However, before we get too carried away, it's important to examine what we know, what we're speculating, and whether this camera truly has the potential to be a game changer. The most intriguing aspect of the FX32 rumors is the potential inclusion of a global shutter. For those unfamiliar, a global shutter is a feature that captures an image simultaneously across the entire sensor, as opposed to the more common rolling shutter, which captures the image line by line. The rolling shutter effect can distort fast-moving subjects, leading to the infamous jello effect in footage. This issue has long been a thorn in the side of videographers, especially those who shoot fast-paced action scenes. If the FX32 indeed features a global shutter, it would be a monumental step forward for videographers seeking crisp, distortion-free footage. The ability to eliminate rolling shutter artifacts would make the FX32 an attractive option for a wide range of applications, from sports and action videography to high-speed cinematography. While the possibility of a global shutter in a video-focused E-mount camera is exciting, it remains speculative until official information is released. Another interesting rumor surrounding the FX32 is the potential merging of Sony's A7S and FX series. The A7S III, released in 2020, has been a favorite among videographers due to its exceptional low-light performance and robust video capabilities. The FX3, on the other hand, is designed specifically for video production, featuring a more compact design and omitting the electronic viewfinder found in the A7S III. The FX32 could potentially replace the original FX3, streamlining Sony's product lineup by merging the A7S and FX series into a single video-centric camera line. This makes sense on several levels. Both the A7S III and FX3 share many core features, including a 12-megapixel full-frame sensor, the Bianzi XR processor, 4K 120p recording, and impressive autofocus capabilities. The primary differences lie in their design and ergonomics, with the A7S III appealing more to hybrid shooters who need both video and stills capability, and the FX3 catering specifically to video professionals. What could the FX3 II bring to the table? Beyond the global shutter rumor, there are other potential features that could make the FX3 II a must-have for videographers. One of the most exciting possibilities is the ability to shoot 4K at 180 frames per second, a feature that would be highly desirable for those who love capturing slow-motion footage. This would be a significant upgrade from the 120 FPS offered by the original FX3, providing even more flexibility for creative video production. Another interesting detail is the rumored absence of a cooling fan, which suggests that the FX3 II could be designed for silent operation. One potential downside, depending on your preferences, is the continued absence of an internal electronic viewfinder. However, rumors suggest that Sony might offer an external EVF that can be attached via the hot shoe, which could be a good compromise for those who prefer shooting with a viewfinder. Additionally, the FX32 is expected to retain the compact and lightweight design of its predecessor, making it a versatile option for both handheld shooting and rigging on a gimbal or drone. The original FX3 was praised for its ease of use in run and gun situations, and if the FX3 II builds on that foundation with even more advanced features, it could become a go-to camera for professional videographers and filmmakers. As we await official confirmation from Sony, it's hard not to get excited about the possibilities that the FX3 II could bring. Sony recently unveiled its latest breakthrough in sensor technology, the 247 megapixel IMX811 AQR medium format sensor designed for imaging applications. This sensor's remarkable resolution far exceeds what most current digital cameras offer, with an astonishing 247 million effective pixels. 
such a high pixel count suggests the ability to capture incredibly detailed photos and images. But what exactly makes this new Sony sensor so special, and how could it potentially impact photography and other fields? Let's dive into its key features and specifications to better understand its capabilities and future implications. The most notable feature of the Sony IMX811 AQR sensor is its massive resolution. With 247 million effective pixels, it offers far more detail than even the highest-end digital cameras currently on the market. For perspective, most top-tier DSLRs and mirrorless cameras peak at around 45 to 50 megapixels. This sensor blows those numbers out of the water, making it an incredibly powerful tool for capturing fine details. From tiny textures and subtle color variations to minute elements within a scene, this sensor records everything with extraordinary precision. For photographers and visual artists, this level of detail can provide an unmatched opportunity to bring their vision to life with stunning clarity. Every intricate aspect of an image will be captured, offering a final product with lifelike realism. Whether you're shooting landscapes, portraits, or industrial scenes, the creative possibilities offered by such a high-resolution sensor are immense. While resolution is the IMX811 AQR's standout feature, it also impresses in other areas. Despite its incredible pixel count, Sony has engineered the sensor to maintain a respectable readout speed of 5.3 frames per second in full pixel mode. While this speed may not seem fast compared to other high-speed cameras, it's important to remember that processing 247 million pixels per frame is a serious engineering feat. The ability to achieve this speed without sacrificing image quality highlights the sensor's advanced design. Additionally, the IMX811 AQR sensor will be available in both color and monochrome versions, catering to a range of different needs. Photographers may prefer the color version for its incredible fidelity, while the monochrome variant could be of particular interest for scientific and industrial applications that require high contrast and sharpness. Imagine capturing landscapes with hyper-realistic detail, where every blade of grass or tiny feature in a scene is rendered with perfect clarity. Portrait photography could also benefit immensely, capturing skin textures and facial details that make each subject uniquely distinct. The creative potential of such a sensor in the hands of professional photographers is mind-blowing. The existence of a 247 megapixel sensor suggests that the future of imaging will continue to evolve toward higher resolutions and more detailed image capture. This breakthrough could inspire Sony's competitors to push their technology further, leading to new innovations and advancements across the industry. For now, the IMX811 AQR serves as an exciting glimpse into what the future of imaging might look like. While the Sony IMX811 AQR may not be suitable for every type of photography, its incredible resolution and advanced specifications make it an exciting development in the world of sensors. Whether you're a photographer, a scientist, or someone working in industrial imaging, the ability to capture such fine detail could elevate your work to new levels. What are your thoughts on this new 247 megapixel sensor? Share your views in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on the latest in photography and technology. The Sony FX6 revolutionized the way filmmakers create movies by offering a powerful yet compact camera that delivers exceptional image quality in a portable package. With its large sensor and advanced color technology, the FX6 became a favorite among creators, producing stunning visuals, even in challenging shooting conditions. However, as technology continues to advance, anticipation is building around the release of its successor, the FX6 II. What new features will Sony introduce, and how will this next iteration enhance the filmmaking experience? Let's explore what might be in store for the FX6 II. Addressing the FX6's weak points. While the original FX6 was a remarkable achievement, no camera is without its limitations. Users have been vocal about certain features they would like to see improved or added in the next model. Chief among these is the absence of in-body image stabilization, a feature that has become increasingly standard in high-end cameras. 
The lack of IBIS in the FX6 meant that achieving smooth handheld shots and gimbal work required additional effort and equipment. Design enhancements. Based on user feedback, we can anticipate that Sony will make ergonomic refinements in the FX6 II. These could include a redesigned grip for improved comfort during long shoots, optimized button placement for easier access to essential functions, and perhaps a revised menu system for more intuitive operation. These changes would make the camera more user-friendly, particularly during extended filming sessions. Game-changing stabilization. One of the most anticipated features of the FX6 II is the inclusion of in-body image stabilization. This technology could revolutionize handheld shooting by enabling smoother footage even in challenging environments. Imagine capturing steady shots while walking through a bustling street or filming from a moving vehicle, all without the need for external stabilization gear. The addition of IBIS could unlock new creative possibilities and simplify production workflows, making it easier for filmmakers to achieve professional results. To address the audio limitations of its predecessor, the FX6 II is likely to incorporate built-in XLR inputs. This upgrade would be a significant enhancement for sound professionals, allowing for the direct connection of high-quality microphones and audio equipment without the need for external adapters or recorders. Improved preamps and advanced audio processing could further elevate the camera's sound recording capabilities, making it a more complete package for professional productions. While the original FX6 already delivers impressive image quality, there's always room for improvement. The FX6 II might feature a higher resolution sensor, offering even more detail and flexibility in post-production. However, this would need to be balanced against factors like file sizes and heat generation, which can impact the camera's performance. Another area ripe for enhancement is dynamic range. By capturing an even wider range of tones, from deep shadows to bright highlights, the FX6 II could provide filmmakers with greater flexibility in post-production. This would allow for more dramatic color grading and the ability to handle high contrast scenes with confidence, ultimately giving filmmakers more creative control over their projects. The electronic ND filter system in the original FX6 was a standout feature, and it's likely that Sony will build on this success in the FX6 II. We might see an expanded range of ND strengths or finer control over filter intensity, giving cinematographers even more precise control over exposure and bright conditions. On the codec front, the addition of new recording formats like ProRes or Apple ProRes RAW could be a game changer. While the rumors and speculations surrounding the FX6 II are exciting, it's important to remember that they are based on current trends and user feedback. Sony is known for its innovation, and the FX6 II could very well be another groundbreaking camera that sets new standards in the industry. However, until official announcements are made, filmmakers should carefully consider their specific needs.